Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Shirley Guevara. I'm the Dean of the College of Home Economics in UP Diliman. First of all, I'd like to thank the Philippine Organization of TVET and TVL Educators for inviting me to this webinar. I'm going to talk about opportunities for partnerships with the UP College of Home Economics on distant learning for different educational levels. Home economics started as a discipline in UP on November 12, 1921, under the then Department of Home Economics of the College of Education. Forty years after, the UP Board of Regents approved its status as the College of Home Economics, and that was on July 27, 1961. We are now the fourth largest college in UP with 17 programs. And our building is also known as Alonso Hall, named after Chedora Alonso, the mother of our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. The initial offerings of the college in 1921 were Bachelor of Science in Home Economics and Bachelor of Science in Education major in Home Economics. Our initial courses were bacteriology, cafeteria management, clothing, child care, marriage, family relations, food chemistry, household management, interior decoration, psychology and physiology. So what are the aims of home economics? We would like to provide education for effective and satisfying personal and family life and responsible citizenship. We also want to prepare leaders in the areas of home economics education, family life and child development, nutrition, food science and technology, hotel, restaurant and institution management, clothing technology and interior design. We also want to improve the quality of life of Filipinos through community extension and volunteer service programs and strengthen the family as the foundation of the nation as provided by the Philippine Constitution. Ultimately, we want to enhance the appreciation and valuing of home economics as a discipline and lead in home economics research. The college has seven educative goals. These are love of God, love of country, belief in the integral role of the family, ethical behavior, management mindedness, pursuit of excellence and social responsibility. We have seven sub-disciplines. I'll start with home economics education. This sub-discipline integrates concepts, skills, principles, and theories of different fundamental skills subjects of home economics. These are food and nutrition, housing and interiors, clothing, crafts, family life and child development for teaching and life application. It also emphasizes skills in decision making and household resource management, taking into account the interaction between the material and relational aspects of daily living and the use of science and technology for the well being of people and their environments. The second sub discipline is family life and child development. It studies the individual and collective development of family members and their relationships. It also focuses on interaction of these members as they address their material and relational needs. It also considers issues and challenges facing families and societal developments in both local and global settings. Community nutrition promotes the nutritional well-being of individuals and groups within the framework of family and community life. It includes promotive, preventive, therapeutic, and rehabilitative aspects of the delivery of nutritional services. 
It also embraces both dietetics and public health nutrition. Food science and technology applies food science and related fields in post-harvest handling, preparation, processing, packaging, storage, and distribution, with the aim of improving food security and the well-being of individuals, families, and institutions. It also includes the social, cultural, economic, managerial and environmental aspects of food systems. The hotel, restaurant and institution management where I come from involves the provision of food and accommodation services to individuals, families and groups away from home. We want to ensure that family members still feel that sense of home away from home whenever they avail of dining, or lodging services outside their residences. HRIM integrates knowledge from the areas of home economics, business, and related fields of study. It also includes managerial, economic, social, cultural, environmental, health, and aesthetic aspects of hospitality service. The word institution refers to hospitals, healthcare, orphanage, correctional, educational, and industrial facilities. Clothing Textile studies the design, materials, equipment, and processes for the production and distribution of clothing to meet the needs of individuals, families, and institutions. It also addresses the aesthetic, social, cultural, economic, managerial, and environmental concerns in clothing. Last but not the least is interior design, which involves the shaping and treatment of spaces to meet the needs of individuals, families, and institutions, and considers functional, aesthetic, socioeconomic, cultural, and environmental aspects of daily living. So let's go now to the opportunities for partnerships. Let's start with the Department of Home Economics Education. The faculty members can conduct lectures or webinars on the following areas, household management, consumer education, entrepreneurship, cafeteria management, and even teaching strategies on home economics as they have conducted for TESDA for Tibet educators, which you can see in the picture. They can also mentor on basic research. Their students can also have their practicum to assist HE teachers on classroom activities. So these are other activities that they have uh, conducted for their uh, practicum and cafeteria management. The Department of Family Life and Child Development provides UP the sole distinction of being the first and the only educational institution to have the youngest pupil at three months old for their infant development program, as you can see in the picture. The students can also conduct practicum training on remote programs for children. The faculty members can conduct lectures and webinars on the following areas. Program for children and families through the UP Child Development Center. Parent-child relationships across the lifespan and child and adult care. They can also help in home reading strategies and creative learning experiences and activities for young children's development. The faculty can also help develop materials for young children. The Department of Food Science and Nutrition has two sections. We'll start with the food science and technology section. The faculty can conduct lectures, webinars on basic food science and technology food hygiene and sanitation, 
healthy diets, reading food labels, food preservation, food production, and basic sensory evaluation. The community nutrition section, on the one hand, can conduct lectures or webinars on basic nutrition principles, nutrition assessment, nutrition program planning, food preservation, cooking and baking techniques. And they can also train barangay health workers if our K-12 graduates can qualify for this post. They usually train um, barangay health workers on nutrition, immunization, feeding program, hygiene and sanitation, as you can see in the next slide. They also conduct storytelling with grade school students. This can be translated into online learning uh, when uh, we request them to do so. Among the other activities are wastong nutrition para sa mga bata, paggawa ng masusustansyang baon. Wastong nutrition para sa mga preschool children. Storytelling for preschool children like hand washing and hygiene. And for the elderly, pag-iwas sa non-communicable disease. At pag-iwas sa alta presyon. They also conduct cooking demo for mothers and complementary feeding. They have a Facebook page where they feature various infographics that are created by the faculty with the help of the BSCN students and the staff members of the college on proper health and nutrition in the time of COVID-19. They also have a tele-nutrition counseling in the same Facebook page. The Padayan Andy Facebook page has so far reached a total of 49,000 people for its um, 10 sets of infographics and uh, about 2,841 likes as of July 6, 2020. So among the infographics are as follows. Limang gabay pang kalasugan para sa mga pamilyang Pilipino sa panahon ng COVID-19. Pitong gabay sa wastong pagpaplano ng pagkain ng pamilya. Pitong gabay sa wastong pamimili ng pagkain ng pamilya sa panahon ng COVID-19. Walong gabay sa wastong pagtatago at pag-iimbak ng pagkain ng pamilya. Siyam na gabay sa wastong paghahanda ng pagkain ng pamilya. Mga karaniwang pagkain mataas sa mga vitamina at mineral na nagpapalakas ng ating resistensya. Apat na gabay pang kalasugan para sa mga nakatatanda, edad 60 pataas sa panahon ng COVID-19. At dalawang infographics para sa mga recipes na pwedeng gamitin mula sa relief packs sa panahon ng COVID-19. Meron din silang one-week cycle menu at 12 recipes na gamit ang mga pagkain pagpapalakas ng resistensya. The Department of Hotel, Restaurant, and Institution Management can conduct lectures, webinars on customer service, dining etiquette, food hygiene and sanitation, food, food service, basic culinary skills, basic kitchen planning and design, food service operation, cost control, 
and table settings from simple like the one in the picture to complex so i'm proud to uh, announce that uh, this is a dining setup for the executive house which is the home of the up president this is an example of a close-up uh, table setup and one of the most important uh, events that our students have conducted was the dining setup for the conferment of honoris causa for the White House executive chef and UP alumna, Cristeta Pasha Comer Ford. The Department of Clothing, Textiles, and Interior Design has two sections. I'd like to start with the clothing textiles section which can conduct lectures, webinars on integrated pattern making and drafting classes, and principles of creative works and upcycling. Face mask and face shield making. Proper wearing and carrying of face mask, which is very important nowadays. Proper care for clothing, crafts as therapy, textile garment selection, and hand sewing workshops. The interior design section can conduct lectures, webinars on basic housekeeping, home care, house decoration, energy saving tips, strategies, basic spatial organization, basic design principles, upcycling, space layout in the home, visual thinking, and other stuff. So these are pictures of their projects and exhibits on crafts and spatial organization. I am proud to show also this sample project, which is improvement of a daycare center. So you can see the intervention that they made so this is a an office for the staff this one is the director's office and the classroom for the daycare uh, pupils and look at the kitchen it has been converted into a beautiful kitchen. And what used to be a storage area was converted into a dainty dining area. So how do we proceed with our partnership? You just formalized your request with complete details to the CHE Dean, that's me, Dr. Shirley V. Guevara. College of Home Economics, University of the Philippines, Diliman, Quezon City, and email to this uh, email address, chedean.updiliman at up.edu.ph. For infographics or published materials, please acknowledge the authors or the source each time these are used in class. So these are the references that I use for this presentation. Thank you very much.